horsepower featuring the best in the General Tire Monster Truck Thunder Drag. For this special edition on All About Horsepower on the Throttle, I guess you can say horsepower gets girly as we are going to be talking with some of the wives of the monster truck drivers. Here at the Jamboree, this is, I guess you can say, the rookie. This is Angie Ekrenkamp, the wife of Denver Ekrenkamp of the Venom Chevrolet. First off, welcome to Bloomsburg. Thank you. Yeah, how long have you guys actually been touring overall, not just with the Venom truck? Um, we started in um, February with the Venom truck. Nothing before that. Now I know that uh, Denver actually had a show truck that he came to Bloomsburg with beforehand, but this is your first time here. And what's the experience like? Uh, it's, it's great. There's a lot of people, and the one thing that I noticed about this truck compared to a lot of the others, you're very involved with it. Denver may not admit to it, but you're very involved <laughs> in basically how the operation works, and that's going to make you feel good that you get recognized. It does. I really love seeing the kids smile, and they just love running up to them and autographs and everything. That's my favorite part. Do you ever get nervous whenever he's behind the wheel? Um, yeah, I do a little bit just because, you know, racing is, is scary, but I know he's strapped in there tight and, and you don't hear of any, you know, when they roll over or, you know, wreck or that, they don't usually get hurt. And the, the guys on the track are usually there in, in Jimmy, so. I knew whenever you debuted this truck in February in uh, Illinois that it was kind of, I knew it was nervous because it was the first time out, but did the nerves being on the sidelines actually go away once he actually got out on the track? Yeah, he's, he's doing great, and I know he knows what he's doing. He loves doing what he's doing, so. The big thing is, is from what I understand, there's a possibility that more could be coming later on this year and in the near future. I know you guys have a show in Indianapolis later this summer, or this fall, actually, at the Jamboree. Any of the other tour dates coming up? Um, we do have one coming up in um, South Dakota before um, we go to Indy, but we're excited. I was going to say, and any... What's in the plans for the future? I know Denver was saying there's possibly a second truck coming out. Yeah, but... we are thinking about getting another truck. We're going to have a two-truck team, and hopefully I'll be able to, to drive too. Are you going to let him win, or is it always going to be you? Oh, it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and Angie's the first first time here, but in a little bit, we're actually going to interview, I guess you call it the veteran wife of the team, and she's all the way over at the other hauler. Well, if Angie's the rookie at the Jamborees, I guess you can call this woman the veteran. She's been here for so many years, it's hard not to see her at this show. This is June Hall, the Hi. wife, and the better half, I guess you could call it, of Mark Hall, the driver of the Ramator. Welcome back to Pennsylvania. Thank you. It's always good to be here. This is my favorite Jamboree. Really? Yep. Really? That's nice to see. How long have you been here with the Oh, gosh. Uh, well, I've been nice trailer since 2003, so 13 years that, I don't remember how many years, it's been a long time. It's been a long time, yeah. and especially considering that next year it is going to be the 30th anniversary of Paul Brothers Racing. That's quite right. an accomplishment. Yeah, we're very proud of that. A lot of, a lot of guys don't make it that far, and we're, we're happy to say we are. <laughs> and you know, Mark gives a lot of credit to, to you as far as being such an influence, but I know that you are a big part of, part of the team as well. It's got to feel rewarding whenever you're able to see all these fans around. It is. And one of the reasons I like it so well here is because we know so many people because we've been coming here for so long. And so I've got a lot of my friends in this area, they come and help me out too, which is nice because a lot of people come up to say hi, I can stop what I'm doing and, and chat with them. And you can't, you're obviously here, you can't see the front. Do you ever get nervous when you see behind the wheel? Absolutely, I still do, after all these years. And I know, you know, the last couple of years, there's been some pretty gnarly incidents at Bloomsburg, especially. I know, I know for a fact that you were scared last year whenever they had the incident in the infield with the fireball. Yeah, I, I felt the fireball all the way over to where I was, and I was a distance from it, so I could only imagine what he was doing. So, yeah, I was a little nervous on that. Now, you've been. You know that now we're up to a four-truck team, and is there any plans in the future to see what else is Because I know Mark, Mike, Dale, and Matt, they're all great at drivers. What's in the future, especially with the Rams sponsors? Well, uh, gosh, I'm probably not the one to ask that question. Uh, uh, just keep building and getting better and better. We did the, uh, the picture truck this year, we used the chassis and did that, and that's kind of like a big, you know, thing to do for Ram because we are able to get a lot of people in a, in a Ram truck, even though it's a monster truck, but it gets them in the Ram booth and looking at other trucks too. But as far as racing goes, um, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> the one thing I will 
will say that was a big thing for Paul Brothers Racing and you since you were there to witness it was a couple years ago, Mark was actually behind the wheel of the truck Dale is in now, and he set the world re world record, 99.1 miles an hour. How nervous were you during that run? On a scale from one to 10, way out there. <laughs> Especially for the fact that you told me that the tires on these things are rated for only 30 miles an hour. Right. Going three times that is right. aggravating. And from what I understand in testing, you actually hit three bills. Yes, we did. He went 104 in the testing, and so we were we were really hoping to get the 100, 100 mark at least. And uh, we were close, you know, the 99.1, and it broke the record, and that was what we set out to do. So that was awesome. The mark was pulled down, and I had to remind him, hey, you're in the Guinness Book now, so you can't be too upset. <laughs> She's been here for so long, and she's such a great influence. I guess you can call her the man behind the ramp. <laughs>